All right guys, today is a super exciting day. We are waking up pretty much all of the collection. Um, the exhibits have been empty for about three months now. Everybody's been in here nice and cold. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start bringing them out one by one. So it'll be a lot of footage of us moving snakes. So hope you enjoy. All right, so here's the game plan. Got a little help today with our, our friend uh, Dan. And uh, we're gonna be transferring all these snakes to the, their exhibits. Being that they're cold in here, we're gonna try and make sure they get into their cool side hide in their exhibits. And then they can on their own terms come out and go uh, into the warm side, which they will inevitably be spending the next couple weeks or a week at least um, in that warm hide. Getting the metabolism back up. Can't wait to see these guys out on display again. You ready? get all these guys to go into the cool side hides so not getting too much of a temperature shock. Really cool low desert black tail. All right, so we're gonna keep these water bowls with the same buckets, um, with the same snakes, basically. Don't want them spreading cooties. This one's gonna be fun. <laughs> That's a funny snake. So if they start to move, it seems counterintuitive to go ahead and lift them up because then they'll hold themselves up. There you go. And then don't, don't worry about the tail end, just try and get the head end near there. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they do poop during brumation. We usually uh, fast them for about a month before we put them in here, so you must have been holding on to this for a little while. Common as heck, but still one of the coolest rattlesnakes ever. Snakes, a little trans pecos copperhead. Woo! Somebody's not happy to be awake. I have a feeling we're gonna start smelling some musk here in a minute too. she would have lunged at you right there. On another day, if there's a reason to pull her out, you'll see what I mean. All right, so all these snakes are well-established, had them for years, uh, with the exception of a few. Gotta wipe down these hooks and tongs with alcohol every once in a while, change out the buckets, 
can't be too careful just in case something has a disease I don't know about. Nice like peachy colors on her right now. Normal Arizona Diamondback. All right, there are a few snakes in here that we don't have to use tools for. A handful of non-venomous stuff. I'm sure my hand feels very warm to her. Ooh, a little hiss action there, I don't know if you heard that. A snore and go for snake. She is cold, my hands, fingers are cold. All right, we're just gonna put her straight back into that. Cooler hide. Yeah, he's got good contrast for an Arizona Diamondback. Little Massasaga. Very underrated. As you can see, nobody's dead. They handle the cold. No problem within reason. Another king snake, a California king girl. It's a really sweet one. All right, a little king snake variety. Desert king and a cow king. Very nice white speck right there. So we woke up everything a couple weeks ago. Everybody's starting to eat again and come out. And then we've got a few left over in here that are from higher elevations and we're gonna get them out today. All right, who should come out first? Let's do the Great Basins. And she's not too ticked, I'll go ahead and add the mail. Get them inside. We'll get the uh, Arizona Blacks out. I'll start with this female. I'll take a quick picture too, because uh, these guys change color quite a bit. Um, they're kind of light, light colored right now, and in a couple days, they should be a lot darker. Really hoping these breed this year. They walked up a lot last season, so. All right, yeah, these are such cool snakes. I kind of wish these were our state reptile. Nothing against the ridge noses, but these are just more commonly encountered. So I've got a buddy doing an experiment on the Arizona black rattlesnakes, um, just because they change uh, the darkness uh, intensity based off of certain stimuli. We think temperature, uh, stress, that can all affect it. As you saw when we pulled him out of there, he had kind of like bluish gray sides. And then probably after a few days of being back in here, he should turn all black again. But uh, I grab a quick picture of him and compare it to when he's dark again. Send those over to him. Let's get these banded rocks out. Get this female first. She looks very comfy right there. Hopefully we will get some babies from this one this year too. Right, she's gonna plop down here. Let's get you back in your bigger home. Some pretty snakes. 
One of the things on my to-do list this year is to revamp this exhibit. I want to get some rocks from some of the mountain ranges these guys are found on. Gorgeous rattlesnakes. Hard to beat a good club. These come from the Pelincila Mountains too. Born in captivity. Have to use tools for these. This is a really pretty high black one from the Hualapai Mountains. Let's go put her away. All right, so these snakes are not actually mine. Uh, these belong to Logan, but we're going to try and breed them. These are caramel prairie rattlesnakes. Let me set this one down away from me here. Just like those green ones we saw earlier, but this is like a caramel albino. A T positive albino. There are some prairie rattlesnake morphs out there. This will hopefully be the mate to that one. Not quite as light. Kind of looks like those Grand Canyon rattlesnakes. There's one more. It'll be kind of fun to see because this is, is a normal one here. And put it right next to those. So that normal green looking prairie there. Um, I'd said in an earlier video that you don't have to, you know, hibernate the temperate rattlesnakes. Um, some kind of want to though. She goes off food like clockwork every year right around September. Um, this particular one and the ones that I have are uh, from Livingston, Montana area. So they got a fairly short season compared to the low desert in Phoenix with the rattlesnakes we have here. All right, everybody's out. Now we got lots of cleaning to do. Um, get this kind of reset and ready for next year. Um, yeah, all the snakes are back out. We'll start feeding, hopefully seeing some breeding activity. And uh, we'll do lots of videos of that too. We'll see you later.